Hi guys, happy Saturday. So, just made witch powder. Found, finally found uh, the planetary times, and I kind of understand it now, kind of don't, don't understand military times, so whatever. But it worked. It, I'm very tired now from it, so yeah, it's a very, very, uh, y you use a lot of energy when you do it. But. Alright, so what is today, part 15, I think? Wow. So we have light from the dark, um, sun dry and greedy or er, impedimenta aids to power. So anything that's going to aid us in our power and all of our workings. All right. So okay. So of aid to the raising of power, a drawing upon spirit force, and calling to the practitioner the assistance of spirit helpers um, are a number of items. Are a number of items and ways known in West Country. So items that may be sought after and carefully collected by the practitioner to attract and to enhance working power and spirit force include such ordinary things as seeds, nuts, and eggs. Yeah, just very simple stuff like that. So, um, such are potentially symbolic vessels and containers of life and spirit force, thus also emblematic of productivity, whatever that word is, don't know, creation itself, the emergence of new life, power, and magic. So they are protective also, bearing the outer shell, guarding that which grows within. Thus, via such charms, may, be, may the practitioner hope to guard her operations and end of war from failure. So it does make sense how the, how the seed is, you know, encased, and it's, you know, working to keep whatever is inside safe. So thus we uh, see why shells Wait, why shells, nuts, seeds, and eggs of all kinds may find their way to being, I can't read my own height, in my own handwriting, incorporated. Being incorporated into the very fabric of the West Country Practitioner's charms and working in impedimenta, impedimenta. So, yeah, okay. The shells of snails are favored also not only for their protective shell, but also for their traditional associations in the West Country with power, sexual force, fertility, and creation. So also here are the creative creatives credited creatures credited with the ability to bestow blessings upon places and people. Um, and thus are their shells gathered. Uh, to fashion charms to bring protection, potency, passion, and good fortune upon the home and life and divorce of their keeper. Very, very interesting. Very, uh, yeah, I can't talk again today. So, serpents and horses are emblematic also of power and magical force. The bones of both creatures are coveted, along with the hair of horses. I do have hair horse, horse hair, to be carried or installed within the home along with the, um, impedimenta of the working horse as fetishes and charms of power and magical potency. Beans are associated in West Country tradition with the spirits of the dead. Had no clue. Had no clue. And are kept carried with other substances. Yeah, substances of um, cognate association. So, such as time, elder, and elm, and with written charms. So such a charm bestows upon the practitioner the ability to have their bidding bestow wait, the bidding they're bidding the powers blessings and wisdom of the shades of the dead so that's interesting very really i did not know that they were associated with the dead but now i understand the connection to less than more more they more with the beans so wands and staves are the roads of power via which magical force and virtue may be stirred drawn upon or set forth by the practitioner so the shaft of the traditional broom is likewise a road of spirit force and the whole device is itself a steed of power the broom is emblematic also of the sexual union being the phallic shaft thrust deep into the feminine uh, brush thus of the creative powers so vital to the working of magic and the warding of evil so it's really interesting really i mean so this is some of my some of the stuff in here my grandma believed and, and yeah like the the knots and the warts and all that stuff so why am I like, I don't like this. Okay, maybe that'll fix it. All right, so where did I go? All right, now this, this, uh, this steed of power is the, is thus ridden by the practitioner within the circle of art, sometimes with the provision of a candle or lantern affixed to the end of the shaft. So the practice brings to the magic making of the practitioner, the creative generative, Um, 
and fertile forces, so adding to its potency and bringing the end of war to fruit. So, yet more um, efficiently may be brought to the operation by jumping through fire upon the broom, upon the ridden broom. Okay, so the fire, the smoke that rises from it, and the wind that carries it forth are all highly useful tools to the West Country practitioner as well. So the fire out the midst of the practitioner's circle of art is the light of creation from the void. Easter eggs, big time Easter eggs in every single one of these, in all of this. Can you guys guess where all this comes from? Literally everything in uh, the Black Toad so far, um, and literally everything from the Cornish Book of Ways is... Uh, it's very evident in uh, Sabrina on Netflix, literally. The Void, Eldritch Terrors, all in this book. So it's crazy. So the magic will of the practitioner is born forth by the creative magical act. Carried aloft within the rising smoke by the aid of the spirits, will it manifest or be carried forth to exert its influence upon the target of the work. Now, in the later case, the direction of the wind is of high importance. From the ceremonial arts has entered into the craft of the West Country practitioner, the pentagram of art. So, that would be the tetragrammatron. So, upon these devices are inscribed such things as the pentagram, the four elements um, of the manifest world beneath uh, quintessence, quintines quintinescence, um, all in one, the source and the animating spirit. So the design is contained within the circle of the infinite. Now, the emblem of the pentagram may be reduced into the simple form of the cross, the four elements of each arm conjoined at their midst in quintessence. So, it's really interesting. So the design is simplified even further. Um, in other examples, in the encircled triangle, the triplicity of creation, the quintessential source, all in one, above the opposing forces of manifest nature. Now for the practitioner, the pentagram of art is a tool emblematic of creation itself and the casual elements of the material world from which that which is magically desired may be brought forth into manifestation in accordance with the will. So I see now where that came into traditional craft. And I use it. I use the tetragrammatron a lot and it works. Now, upon such a device, many charms and substances of the art me are, are be placed in order that the pertinent force may be manifest into their form. So, and the desire for which they were created to bring into being may be brought forth into manifestation. So, fires and crucibles of smoldering substances are also placed upon the pentagram of art in order that the desire for which they burn may issue forth into manifest reality. I love that. I do, I love that. I, I, I do. Charms, fetishes, and other items created and empowered to manifest magical desire are kept in West Country practice within the charm box. So some examples are crafted to be in the form of a coffin, for that which is placed within it is intended to bring about the death of a situation so that a new set of circumstances may be born forth. So thus the physical relics of the workings held within while the working uh, actually takes effect. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. So that's, I, I'm gathering a lot of this from the Goetia, from the boxes, the spirit boxes that I did, or I've done, and then the spirit box that I did also, um, which is obviously, it was very traditional witchcraft, West Country craft. Yeah, so I mean, I have that spirit box now. I had no clue that I did it. All the sigils are there of traditional craft, and I had no idea. But, all right, now, um, it is this, um, Cognate with the wish box and those containers used to magically rid of things undesired. So, what is placed within it is left for the spirits to see to until that which is desired has been brought forth. So, kind of like the healing box of the Les Santisi Um, Yeah, pretty much, only in reverse. Alright, now the beginning and rights, how to begin rights and workings. You guys are going to find an Easter egg in this one, so tell me if you find it. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let you guys find it. So, now this is when you begin your work. It's very simple. So, at the place chosen for the undertaking of the work, the practitioner will first ensure that everything required for the rite is prepared and in its proper place. Now, with your arms upraised, holding the working staff in the dextral or sinistral hand, depending on the working, being one of conjuration or of exorcism. The practitioner will 
um, declaim. Esi benedicte domino, omnes seri domini, qui statis in domo, domini, in nactubus levate manus restras and sanctum et benedicte. Domino benedictat tibi dominas ex sion factor cali et terre. Hmm. What does that sound like? Nothing? Maybe. Alright, so then shall a circle be marked out around the place of working upon the ground with the, sh the staff. The direction of this, war this marking uh, and the hand in which the staff is held, being sinistral or dextral, will again be determined by the nature of your working or right. So then shall be called up unto the place the spirits and virtues that shall aid the work. So the operation of calling may be aided greatly by various methods which in traditional thought are held to draw the aid of the spirits to the West Country practitioner. So it is held that the fumigations are of use not only in exorcism and sending forth the will, but in drawing to the practitioner the aid of spirits uh, when they are pleasing in scent. So, in addition to sweet smelling substances cast upon the flames of a working fire or, or upon the coals of a thurible, the West Country crafter may employ a simple spirit calling device in the form of a switch of twigs, such as the woody parts of the sage bound at the end. So very easy. Pretty easy. Uh, I like the idea of the wind roarer, the bull roarer, those things that I mean I, I want to try that. Now the other end, lit from the flames of a working fire, will smolder and issue forth sweet smelling smoke as the practitioner runs around the place waving the device as they go. The fumes will not only exercise ill and impending influences from the place, but draw the attention of those helpful spirits. So sound is also of use within the operation. The wind roarer um, is of use um, in the calling of the spirits. So the raising of useful forces and encouraging a powerful shift in consciousness and atmosphere. So that's really interesting. The singing bowl, the Tibetan singing bowl, all of it, raising energy. So, yeah, so I tell you, a powerful shift of the raising of the useful forces, yeah, and an encouraging a powerful shift in our consciousness and our atmosphere. So by swinging the device to rotate with the air and by adjusting its speed, can sounds of bizarre, throbbing, and unearthly nature be created. Having heard a number of times multiple wind roarers in use at meetings of the, of the wise, and once caught the eerie cry of one in use by some, some solitary practitioner, carrying across the still and misty air up from the western Cornish landscape. Ooh, that, I mean, that, those noises have to be cool. I mean, they do sound cool. So drumming and the wind or the winding of, winding of instruments or of horns and bone have their traditional use for the purpose also. So whatever devices are employed or none, the practitioner will make their call. So this is your call after you've done the declamation. Easter egg. So I summon and conjure thee powers of the ways above and below. I summon and conjure thee to arise. Come ye hither and appear. Red spirits of fire, white spirits of earth, gray spirits of water, and black spirits of air. In the old master's name, I summon and conjure these spirits and powers of the six ways. Arise, come ye hither, appear, and aid me in my work. That's not an Easter egg. So, the practitioner will then be ready to enter into their work. Once the work is complete, it is meet to, sp to splash some of mouthfuls of some good drink and perhaps scatter some food about the working place in thanks to the spirits that have come to the practitioner's aid. So, I really like that. That's really interesting. Really interesting. So I have yet to do that. Um, the uh, Troil Rite, which is the red meal in traditional British. This is traditional Cornish. It's, there's so many different paths. It's just ridiculous. But the Cornish is just, it feels familiar. Luckily, me and Skyly, we had a really good conversation last night, and it just, we connected on a level that is just incredible. So, just talking and just sharing information and figuring everything out. You know, how many people helped me with numerology last night? With, you know, the hours of, you know, what planet is going to rule what hour, and you guys were incredible. Thank you. Um, I, I've never been so confused with numbers in my entire life. I hate math. 
So the app now, it works. Perfect. I'm like, and it was free. And I was not going to pay $5.99 or whatever. So, so yeah, I was able to do my working today. It was really, really interesting. I, I gathered some dirt at the time of uh, the sun, um, right before noon. All 12, 13, the sun went into something, or the, the hour turned from the sun, so it was something to 12, 13 to the sun. That's when the sun rolled today, and it, it was just really powerful and really neat getting and collecting uh, dirt from places of power around my area for that working. So, tomorrow we're going to do Old Mother Red Cup. Now this is about which fire powers, protections, and desires. So it's really interesting. I, I, I try to take notes, but uh, this, all this, is literally a book, two books almost, that I have taken notes on. Notes, they just end up being written. So I'm like, why? Why, why am I writing this book down? It's just so interesting, there's so much there. Alright guys, I hope you guys have a great day, um, so yeah, when the moon is full, the witch powder will be completely ready, that stuff is messy, so, and yes, it just, it's a workout, so when you do it correctly, you feel good about it, and yeah, yeah, I like, so, I will see you all tomorrow, I'm winded still, <laughs> um, I love you all, everybody, please, please be safe. Um, yeah, just be safe, and I love you all very much, and all the way from Venus, sunburn, it's gone, all the way back down, and I, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, so, um, yeah, the witch powder will be ready, um, and then the, uh, rest of the serpentine, these necklaces, traditional witches' necklaces will be made for a certain amount of people until I run out, so, alright guys. I love you all and thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.